Hello and welcome to the crypto class. I'm Susie, aka Crypto Girl, and we've got Joe on the line, and he's the creator of the Radar and Crypto Mastery Indicators. So we're glad to have you here today. We are going to go over the news, the overall market, hot movers in the basket, crypto screen review, indicators, and most importantly, we're going to do question and answer. So your uh, questions are why we're here. So look forward to hearing from you and the question box. All right, here we go. So first on the news, Qcoin announces a $150 million raise to expand NFT and Web3 offerings by Biome Wyas on May 10th, 2022 on Cosmopolitan.com. Leading cryptocurrency exchange Qcoin has closed its pre-series B funding round, securing about $150 million to expand its offerings to include Web3 and non-fungible token NFT services. The latest investment raises the company's market valuation to $10 billion per the announcement on Tuesday. The investment round was led by Jump Crypto, the cryptocurrency division of the popular trading company Jump Trading Group, Circle Ventures, IDG Capital, and Matrix Partners also participated in the round. Qcoin's plan for NFTs comes as crypto exchanges rally around the space with native marketplaces. Binance and Coinbase already have a functional trading platform for NFTs, and Kraken recently announced a watch list for its marketplace which will support Ethereum and Solana assets upon launch. It's likely that Qcoin could follow the trend. Meanwhile, the fifth largest cryptocurrency exchange also has plans for its community's public blockchain dubbed KCC. The blockchain will be a significant infrastructure where resources will be deployed to create a decentralized ecosystem. Next on the news, Decentralization is helping shape the course of scientific research and business by Derek Anderson on Cointelegraph.co. Decentralized science, dubbed DSI, is creating new markets for knowledgeable and new opportunities on commercial markets. New technologies may have rapid dramatic effects on society, but they may also spread slowly and subtly. The blockchain powered decentralized science, DSI, is taking off some years of gestation. Its impact is being felt not only in the rarefied confines of high-tech labs, but more broadly in the business world as well. Psychedelics and longevity. Paul Collis, the co-founder and CEO of Molecule, a platform for biotech decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, founded in 2019, spoke about pharmaceutical research and its funding on Zima Red podcast in April. We believe it could be a way cheaper if it was coordinated in a better way. Cole Haas said pharmaceuticals research, I think there's this cultural and bureaucratic problem. Cole Haas compared blockchain and pharma to fintech in banking. The banking industry has only started evolving in the past 10 years in the wake of fintech because fintech is starting to really hurt their bottom line and take away customers, he said. Molecule allows researchers, biotech companies, and universities to combine data and intellectual property, IP, rights into IP non-fungible tokens, IP NFTs, thus creating a new market. The holder of the IP NFT could solicit funding to continue research activities or an organization can reach an argument, or I'm sorry, can reach an agreement with the IP NFT holder to use the data and IP for its own purposes. Funding may also find new outlets. Longevity startups are currently funded by billionaires, he said, but I think there's a risk because if like the richest people in the world live longer and longer and get richer and richer, that will fundamentally, in the long run, create an unjust society because wealth isn't distributed. That's a really good thought to think about. That was the most important part of that article. I hope you guys read that or listened to that. 
Okay, the next and the last part of the news is Cardano. ADA Charles Hoskins says the massive Cardano treasury is only going to grow on CryptoGlobe.com. On Tuesday, May 10th, Charles Hoskins, who, co who is the co-founder and CEO of Input Output Global, aka IOG, formerly known as IOK, IOHK, the company responsible for Cardano's research and development provided some reassuring news for Cardano holders. Earlier today, Sebastian Gillermott, who is the CTO of blockchain company DSpark, as well as the former VP of Engineering and Cardano product manager at EMURGO, reminded his followers that thanks to Cardano's massive treasury, startups such as DC Spark can continue to build tooling for Cardano. The IOG agreed with this assessment and said that Cardano's treasury is only going to grow. Cardano provides its users with a full-fledged POS system at the disposal which overcomes many of the usability pitfalls other POS chains struggle with. So that is good for the understanding of the infrastructure of Cardano. Here's the overall market, Bitcoin and Ethereum market cap. So today we're at $1.4 trillion. I darken the lines on this coin market cap, um, market cap, uh, market cap slide for you, so that you could see that we were at 1.8, we went down to 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, all the way down below 1.4, and now it's gearing closer towards the 1.5. And this is why I get excited when this happens because this is when I'm getting ready to buy. I don't know about you guys, but I am waiting for a floor and it's been a pretty exciting week to see this happen. So the next upward swing would be 1.5 trillion. All right. And if you've been around for the last few weeks, we've seen the market go from 1.9 to 1.7 and it's just been bouncing. So volatility is great for getting in low and getting out high. All right, now here's the seven day market performance and market cap block size. This is on coin360.com and it's great for my visual learners so that you can actually see the colors and the, the block sizes. And the colors are gonna be represented this way. The dark red means the cost to buy this particular asset has gone up three steps and meaning that the price has gone down, sorry. And the medium red is the cost to buy has gone down two steps. And then the light red means the cost to buy has gone down one step. The greens, which you don't really have a lot of greens here, the dark green, which the only one we have right now is Tron TRX, it means the cost to buy it has gone up three steps. The medium green is the cost to buy has gone up two steps. And the light green means the cost to buy has gone up one step. Currently, the light greens you see on here are stable coins. So USDC and USDT. So you want to take note, the block size too, I'd mentioned earlier. So on the Bitcoin, the BTC block you see on the bottom, it'll say dominance 40.11%. And what that stands for is of all the money in crypto land, 40% of it is invested in Bitcoin. And that's represented by the block size. And if you look to the right of Bitcoin, you see ETH, that's Ethereum. So that's like the king and the queen of the of crypto land right now, as far as market cap goes. So Ethereum is the second largest box because it has the second most amount of money invested in it. So if that makes sense, and it's a great place to go to, and to see this one is showing you all gains and all losses. But the next slide, you're going to see something different. This is the seven day top 50 gainers in market cap block size. So I wanted to let you know that there are gainers happening even in a downward spiral market. However, these are not on our watch list, and this could be riskier but I wanted to let you know how to find them. You would just click on gainers and losers, and on that drop box, you would say, look at gainers. 
So these are ones that if you had had them in your portfolio, maybe a good time to take profit, um, not financial advice, just an idea. Um, so start went up in the last seven days, 139%. Moby went up 55%. Gal, G-A-L, went up 169%. So, and then in the lower right, you can see Part went up 77%. Ox went up 76 and SBD went up 59%. So now here we have the Bitcoin USD one week performance chart with the radar. And I wanted to let you know that on the left hand side, you can customize your times by clicking on a, there's a spoke that comes up on that radar. And what this does is it turns your charts, four charts into one. So on the lower right hand side, you can see the radar and the 240, that means four hours, the 1D means one day, the 1W means one week, and the 1M means one month. So currently, Bitcoin on a four-hour basis is trending upward. On a one-day basis, it's trending upward. But on the one week and the one month past performance, it's trending downward. Now, here's Bitcoin USD with a one-week performance chart with the Crypto Mastery indicators. And so you have on the top indicator, early reversal indicator, Remember, it's on a one-week basis, so it came in a few weeks ago saying it looks like Bitcoin's price was going down, So it and it, and it did. And then you have the trend indicator where you had the key and the bell, but then the numbers did not occur after that because there was turbulence and it started changing direction. And therefore, you didn't have a one or two or three or four or five or anything else. So, And then the line went red showing you the trend is going down. And the TSI, which stands for a trend strength indicator, that one, you see the red histos going downward. Thus, it's going down. And then you have the signal line, and you could see that that one went red. So therefore, again, it's all of these indicators are simultaneously saying the same thing. And the volatility index is in a really great place on a one-week basis. It's at a 14.33. And you know it's it's down in the oversold zone. So we're at a really good place that we probably are hitting a great floor, and it's exciting because it, there's always new beginnings coming. So then we have Ethereum USD one week chart with the radar. And so Ethereum, just like Bitcoin, um, you have the four hour, the one day, and the one week. So for Ethereum right now, the four hour is showing that it's moving up and the one day says it's moving up. The one week is still going down for the average of one week and the average of one month, it's still going down. So you won't see those change you know, until the week passes. And then here's Ethereum USD one week performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators applied. So we have the early reversal indicator a few weeks ago said it was going down. So we're waiting for that upward arrow to say, okay, the direction is changing. And then you have the trend indicator, same as Bitcoin. It's showing that it was going down the last few weeks and it's still in that pattern for the one week basis. And the trend strength indicator is still showing down for the one week average. And then you have the signal line again down and the volatility index down. So it's a great place to watch to see when we hit the floor before you want to buy any more. All right, here is our basket. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Cosmos, Algorand, Harmony, Phantom, and Solana. And most of these can be found on Coinbase. And here are some hot movers in the basket. So right now, I know the 0.360 chart showed all red. And when I was looking at our watch list for our crypto class, the flags show that for a one week basis, they are down. But what I noticed on the right hand side is the percentage change was moving up. So I did um, want to show you that, that you know, on a one week average, we're down, but it looks like there is some fight of flight going on back and, you know, behind the scenes where these these coins are gaining um, a different direction. So I wanted to just show you this slide and let you know that when you have that radar, you can click on that little spoke and then this little radar screen pops up where you could go to time frame one, two, three and four and you can change that to an earlier time frame. Sometimes if you're looking to get in, you may want to um, go towards a, a lower time frame 
to see what is going on with the coin at that moment um, if you are more day trading. And then this is our current watch list right now. The flags on the left are red because for the one week they're down. The only two right now on our current watch list that were up for the week were ALGO and ALGO USD and Ethereum BTC. But I did want to show you, I created a new subcategory called up for the moment to show you which coins within our list were moving up at the moment all right um this is our watch list so you also you can organize your watch list by the change percentage which is what this one is to the left the amount of change in price the last price the symbol name and you can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell these coins are up for the day but i always look for the coin on the floor to be ready for your next low buy so here is the crypto screener review. Currently on the crypto screener, you have um, the trading view crypto screener is saying strong buy. And it's not my financial advice. It's just for educational purposes. Just want to show you what's there. And that's Ethereum BTC. So now just to quickly go over what the crypto screener does show is you can color code your watch list flags, and then you can organize your crypto screener to pull just the specific watch list. So I had only a few things that were flagged green, and that's why we only had one on the one slide you just saw. You can change this to many time frames, and that particular one you saw and the one I have in front of me is set for a one week. So then you have the moving average rating, and that's gonna show strong buy or strong sell. You can sort by movage, movage, moving average rating, and you can also sort by the last price or SMA20, which stands for simple moving average for 20 days or 50 days or 200 days. And then notice on those simple moving average columns, you have the S and the B for strong sell or strong buy. Now let's quickly review the indicators that you have or you may be wanting to get. So the volatility index oversold conditions, the ERI indicator, the dynamic ATR, trend indicator, the TSI, the radar screener, and the signal line. So the radar 1.0, it's used to organize your watch list. It confirms your trade progression. It shows four different chart times, can be applied to multiple indicators, and it allows you to see four plus time frame trend directions on one chart. The Radar 1.0, it turns the four charts into one. And you can see that little, little spoke I have the arrow going to, you can customize your time frames there, which we showed you a little bit earlier. And then this particular example shows 60, which is a one hour or 60 minutes, 244 hours, the one day is one, the one day is one day, and the one W is one week. And the trend indicator. So the trend indicator, it's used to set alerts. So step one, the key will pop up to indicate there's a great chance that an upward trend is coming. So stay alert and get ready. Step two, the bell indicator pops up. Confirm trend direction. This means the upward direction is strong. You may want to take action. Step three, the numbers one to seven confirm trend direction with these numerical numbers. One. The number one is the beginning of the first bar from which all buy conditions are met. The number two to seven is the total number count of the present cycle. If buy conditions criteria are still met, the number count will then restart from the bell. So here's an example of the trend indicator. You have the key opportunity, a bell alert, a one to seven, it confirms the trend. The indicators, volatility index, it shows overbought or oversold conditions. It's used with shorter time frames. The third one is signal line, and it shows trend direction confirmation when the green linear average crosses the red. The TSI, which is trend strength indicator, it shows early trend reversal when green plots start, and it shows early exit reversal when the red plots start. And then the ERI, I call this Houdini, it's the early reversal indicator. The green arrow up means the conditions for a soon upward trend are present, 
and the red arrow down means the conditions for a soon downward trend are present. So here's an example. So the early reversal indicator, and this is not showing today's chart. It shows the early reversal indicator where you have that red arrow down it means that it's about to go down. So get ready. And then you have the trend indicator where it's a bell. It goes the key for a key opportunities coming in the bell. And then if it continues to move up, you're going to have a one and a two and a three and a four and a five. This particular example, it didn't go back. It didn't continue upward. Then the TSI is the trend strength. You have the green lines showing that it's continuing to go up on this particular one. And then the signal line, you have a green line. And the volatility index, you have a lightning bolt to the right. It says 35. That shows a zone. And I'll get into the volatility in the next slide. So here's the volatility index. I love this one. It's not financial advice, though. So the volatility indicator measures how far the coin stretches away from its mean price. I take profits in the upper green area and then take note on the numbers and descriptions on the right-hand side. So in the volatility index, you have a green zone up top and it says overbought 80 and then 100. When I'm setting my alerts, say I already owned a particular coin or token and I wanted to set my set my expectations to when I wanted to sell it, I could set an alert and say, tell me when this particular asset is in the overbought zone. And then I would get a, an, an email saying, okay, Bitcoin is in overbought. And then I would go in there and sell it. So that is those numbers on the right hand side on the upper. And then you could take your eyes and go to the lower red zone. Oversold is 20 to a zero. So you could set your alerts between 20 and zero to know when it's in the lowest floor zone to know when to scoop it up. So those two zones are key zones to know when to buy and when to sell. So this is the thick red line is the number 20. And I prefer to buy as lowest, as closest to the zero as possible. And that's why I was excited when I was looking at Bitcoin earlier because Bitcoin on a one week basis was at 14.3 volatility. And that was exciting because that's in the red zone. So that means it's going to get to the floor. As, and this is this is Bitcoin you're looking at right now. And you can see it doesn't go to the floor very often. So it's good when it is because then when it goes back up, then you know, you're going to hopefully have a profit. All right, so now this is all about you for question and answers so that we can find out what you need and we can look at our watch list and we can get rid of that. And Joe is on the line. I don't know if you want to start with Bitcoin, Joe, or we'll see if we have any questions or yeah. to answer. Hi, Susan. Hey. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Good. You know. Um, where I actually wanted to start was uh, with the uh, Ethereum Bitcoin. So it's ETCH, uh, ETC, BTC. It does, right? This one. Let me just shrink this watch list. Okay. And do you want the other chart with all the indicators? Here's the radar. Well, it's really green. Yeah, well, that's on the short term, but I wanted to see if, if you can um, put the other radar on there, the one with the longer time frame. Yeah. I just wanted to, uh, there's a couple of things in particular I just wanted to uh, hit on today. All right, so is that good or do you want all the indicators on there? Yes, that's good. And put the other indicators, please. Because what this is, this is a pair. And um, a lot of times when the market is um, in a hostile trading range, because the market's hostile right now. If we broke some significant levels and uh, the market's trading in a real uh, zigzag moment. And uh, we look for clues. And part of them clues can be seen here possibly in this Ethereum Bitcoin. So if you change this to a daily chart. Sure. 
right? And I just wanted to point out is is that uh, we're at a level of significance right here because, uh, you know, we're seeing the uh, Bitcoin trade down lower, which we're going to go to in a second. But if you uh, shrink that chart up, Susie, a little bit, right? And if you could um, minimize the ATR. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to just try to get to the market has been trending down. And uh, just recently, when we started to get this move down in the Bitcoin, you can see in here how the uh, trend indicator started to give a key and the TSI is turning up. So even though we haven't broken yet significant, it's a clue right now to what's happening with the main Bitcoin. So um, if you take a look over here in uh, March, you see how like the last move up in March was? So usually when we get, we can move from this level very fast. So this is something in here, you know, we want to keep our eye on. And right now we have a bell alert. So um, we may see this maybe the only market that may start to go up. Like, you know, because right now the volatility index is down. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with this. So, so you know, so I, I cut... I just kind of wanted to start with this because um, if we go from here to Bitcoin, right, which is the major, then we can take a look at um, we're down here back at the 30 level, which is significant. Yeah, you know, look at the volatility index too. You know, and in this case point, we set our alerts and let the market come to us. You know, because it's difficult to say, oh, well, this level should hold or this other level should hold. Um, the only thing we can do is is wait wait till we see it within the tools. And the tools will lead us to the success. But right now, um, the market is uh, lifeless in this zone, quote unquote. Now, within the next week, we may see start to see the ERI turn on. Uh, we may start to see the TSI bottom out. But we don't have any of that right now. So it's just a wait. Okay. And I'm excited too because, you know, some of these levels we haven't seen for like almost a year. So to be able to um, reposition at the right timing, you know, you know how you have that uh, cookie jar where you have a dollar stashed away behind your refrigerator? <laughs> it's a good time to use it. <laughs> Amazing look at these. <laughs> that is awesome. So, yeah, this is phenomenal. All right, so let's. I'm gonna. I just did my alert on trend and TSI, so I'm gonna do an alert on. Um, oh wait, I, sorry, I'm trying to. I should do it with my mouse. An alert. Okay. BTC signal line. And I'm just gonna tell myself one day. So I know it's a one day chart. And I'm repeating what I'm saying in the message box just because when the message comes to me, I wanna be able to know exactly what it is. And as far as I'm concerned, volatility is just super exciting. That I'm just gonna put a chat mark check mark as if like that one is just amazing super love okay so um so far i'm going to check the questions box see if we have anything but um it's over nothing all right keep going joe so do you guys sure. want to look at well let's, let's take a look at the ethereum might as well just take a look at some of these majors okay well and what we have in here. And again, now, now you now one of the things in particular, right? If you notice, is that uh, you see how the trend indicator has been off since the beginning of April. 
And this is like really shows like what you can accomplish, you know, when you have an education and, and you apply it. You know, just the, the trend indicator alone, shutting off uh, was a great uh, clue to take profit. And then you see right below the TSI as well confirming. And yeah. since that period of time, the technology and the system has been off. And that's, that's the value of education because once you learn this, right, the, the sky's the limit for you. Once you learn actually how to play the game. And the game is, is there's no trends. Um, there's no, there, there's no, the expectation has to be set lower for what you want. But if there is a trend, now you can set your expectation higher and you can see it here like i guess it was about march 14th just and i'm just pointing out just the trend indicator and uh, the way it shut off like that it always amazes me and that's the mathematics in there that's why you don't see the uh, green paint and you see how it completely shuts off and um and that's another one where you can set your alert for susie i mean we just have to let the market come to us but um, it always amazes me how the uh, the rules are reoccurring. And, and once you know you master the rules, now you become the master of your destiny. And, that, and that's what we all want to accomplish. So master the rules, and you'll master the game. Because this crypto is just going through a cycle, and uh, we're just going through you know the down part of the valley. But at some point in time, maybe the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll start to see the clues start to show themselves. And then it'll be the, the precise exact timing of when action should be taken. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of success in the next few weeks with this stuff when it turns. Okay, so everybody make sure you set your alerts. So I'm setting my, here's my signal line. I'm showing Ethereum one day signal line. So I know that this will send an email to me saying that this has turned up. And the volatility index is <laughs> it's saying the signal line's crossed. So anytime you guys want to actually go closer into your charts. Um, oh, I Hold on. You can just click on that space. Oh no, I can't get out of this, Joe. Oh, there we go. Just double click it. Double click on that particular area and it'll open it up bigger. Do you want to look through some um, coins on the side? And Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, take a look at some of what we have in the basket and see what we could set our alerts for. Coming up. Yeah, so what I was doing is I was filtering these by change, and um, these are some of the highest ranking changes. So, on a shorter time frame, see, notice look, so the early reversal is coming up for Adam, and then we just saw, um, oh no, I didn't see that. So this was the volatility 4.03. Oh, yeah, yeah and, and, and again, Susie, you notice on the atom, if you go back a second, notice how the trend indicator shuts off. If you make the chart just a little bit more tighter, right? Yeah. And, and we're here in, uh, in April. So, you know, the market's going down today, but the most valuable lesson that you can get from today's lesson is master the rules. and you know, this trend indicator is one of the chart overlays that's very good and it does what it's supposed to do. It, it shows the trend. And here's another example where you see where the color stops. And when the color stops, there is no trend. And, and it's a good one to set the alert for. You know, because you might say, well, you know, there's, there's too many alerts. You know, which one is the most important one? Well, if you're new and you're a beginner, you know, the trend is the, the easiest one to start with, right? And then once you master the trend, now, you, you know, you're going to notice that when the trend 
takes place, uh, these other chart overlays will also be triggering as well. But um, each chart overlay has a specific task. You know, one chart overlay, the ERI, is looking for clues for early entry. Um, you know, versus the volatility index, which is looking for volatility. So it's kind of like we're trying to um, position ourselves so that whichever clues start to present themselves from the market, we'll be able to take action. Right? I okay. Uh, uh, go ahead, we'll Susan. Use, we'll use the same chart and then, you know, I'm just going to make note as to when the trend turned off. So Matic is still downward. Um, OGN. You know, and, and you know, it's also good, Susie, once you understand this, now you can put these rules in your favor, you know, because it's real easy sometimes to get the FOMO. I mean, like I get it. But once you know the rules, then you can kind of control yourself. I mean, you don't want to spoil the, the surprise part. So OG Solana has been getting a lot of good media lately. Yeah, here's another one. Look how it's shut off. Uh, but look, you, you know? have coming in right there. Um, got I just think, Susie, right? What about the, the, the traders that are out there that don't have this? They would never know this these secrets. They, they yeah. would never have, never know to when's the best time or when's not the best time or how to set my expectation. Exactly. And it's just to be able to pace yourself and and to to know there's nothing going on here. Not yet. Not yet. So Solana is not yet. But wow, it's really important. I love that you're emphasizing this particular trend zone. I'm just going to continue to put the eyeball there so everybody knows that's what we're watching. And Av looks like it keeps like wanting to move up. I mean that the um, early reversal keeps coming in there, and it's trying, but it, it, it's going to be close. It's going to come. Okay, so. You know, and what happens is, is that, uh, you know, a lot of times the markets are all moving, you know, all the same. So if we just looked at like five markets and the trend has all been down since April. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, you know, and that also gives empowerment because you know that when this turns up, right, that mathematically, you know, you have an advantage over everyone because this is a game of having an advantage to win. And that's the purpose of having the tools, the purpose of having education, the, the difference between the person that goes to school and the person who doesn't. We put these rules in our favor and we're good to go. You know, well, you can't say 100 percent. What we can say is, is that when the clues show themselves and we react uh, correctly, well, then that's the moment where we can meet luck and preparation. And that'll give us an advantage over our competitor. And this is a zero sum business. You know, if you're not winning, someone else is winning. You got to know when you have a good hand and not fold. Well, how do you know that? When you have technology, when, when you have an education, that's how you know. This is great. All right, so what you can do, guys, is I actually just copy my alert message to myself, and then you can just copy it and just paste it and just set your alerts just off the trend on all of these coins. Same thing. This is so apparent. Once you see the rhythm and the motion and the ocean in this, in the sea, 
you're going to understand that it is everything is trending at the same place and pace. And that's All the thing this, is that, yeah. you know, Susie, trading, right, is the, almost the best business in the world. I mean, if you have the right tools, you know, but if you don't have the right tools, just think about how difficult it would be to try to decipher this information. Very difficult. But here, like instantly, I'm watching you, and within seconds, you're able to tell what the trend is doing. And then now you're, you're setting the alert and now putting yourself in the position for when it does possibly turn. I mean, look, it might be next week. It could be at the end of the month. It could be next month. But the whole thing is, is that when it does change, that's the time when you want to be putting energy into that. And right yeah, now, we're like in a 30-day a, a cycle down. Just let the market come to you. You know, out of all of these coins in the crypto universe, at some point, someone, one of these horses is going to jump out and start to recover. <laughs> and it's just a matter. <laughs> it's a matter of time right now. Yeah, just like the Kentucky Derby. Exactly. Link. Yep. I'm just going to quickly check the questions box before we um, run out of time. If you guys have any questions, that would be amazing. If not, we'll just keep going and setting alerts. So we'll keep watching together. So that was Link. This one is Ren. Um, so I'm just focusing on kind of when, when the consistent downtrend started happening, zoning in on this trend. And then I'm just adding my alerts. And hopefully you guys are doing it with me on your end and using the same message to myself uh, oops, and and just setting up and we're preparing you know what happens is, is that you got the brokerage and uh, they have things arranged in a way where as a, when the market retraces and pulls back, you have like 90% of the coins follow along with it. So, it, you know, it, it, if you're noticing, we're just seeing these um, really orderly downtrends, e even that harmony since April. Jeez. Yeah, but... It just, it's one of those things where when it all starts turning into the make money direction for the Americans, then it's like you have to know exactly which one you want to jump on because it's, it, this is showing that you're going to probably have like a hundred coins um, at the same time. Oh, I think I have to delete some of my alerts. I've done all my alerts. <laughs> so, uh, well, you might have, guys, might. I have way a lot of alerts. So, um, yeah, I'm maxed out 100. So, I'll have to clean my alerts up. But for this moment, I'll just we'll just go through each one of these and just show you. Yeah, that's what happens when you're looking at like hundreds of coins at the same time. Okay, LRC. Hey, you know, Susie, one of the things that I wanted to point out, right, is is that. Uh, how the radar is down, it's red. And, and see, the radar says, hey, there's danger. You know, there's no trend. And, and that's one of the, the, the power of the tools that you have is, is that not only are we seeing it with the chart overlay that there's no trend, but we're seeing the radar confirm it. And, and these are all reasons, right, and, you know, for, for you to prepare for the next trend. Like, you know, it's all about waiting and, and also a reason of why you have to take profits because anybody that didn't take profits in April, now they have to take this ride. And uh, if you're, you you have the chart overlays and you see the TSI turn red and you see the trend indicator stop showing green, you, you really need to take profits when applicable because the market is a, a roller coaster. And uh, we're seeing it pull back right now, you know, um, a lot. Algo actually is the one that's moving with Ethereum BTC. So this one actually was going, which is great. It's one of the ones in our basket. 
and then here is that Ethereum of Bitcoin key just came in. So that means, guys, that everyone's using their Bitcoin to buy Ethereum with it. Yeah, it, it's amazing how that one there. If you look at how the radar is in comparison to the yeah. other coins we just looked at, like how the pair, you know, or the spread is uh, is showing the clues. It's all about clues. Yeah. So this this one here looks like it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this develops. Absolutely. Well, it just shows that you know, those two are holding their weight in their own way. So it's exciting. And both of those are really good prices right now. It really it's so hard for me not to just go ahead and scoop everything up right now. <laughs> but I'm waiting. I'm I'm holding back. It's like Oh, you know things are on sale, but it's like waiting for everything to go from like 50% to 70% off on sale because you know that like the winter season's over. You can get that summer clothes at like 25% what it was before. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just waiting. This is the waiting game, which is, is hard to do nothing. Uh, but all of these, like guys, I'm just, I hopefully you're seeing it right now as I continue to do the same thing and you're seeing that every chart is the same oops so i'm just going to continue down our watch list and and look at everything and um you're pretty much seeing the heartbeat of the of the system the crypto right now so this one is different oh no but look at that trade whatever i'll just close it out um so this one CRV, it looks like it had some turbulence there. It didn't want to go down. What do you think about that, Joe? <laughs> wow. CRV's got some power. It was fighting that. Look at that. It was fighting the downward spiral that was spiral that everyone else had come in right here. Yeah, it's been putting up a fight. I mean, it's uh, it is. It's a top good. But you know. Yet. Not all of the coins are 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 losing. You know, there's the it, it, it's uh you know this one here to really put up a fight considering, you know, yeah, what the other coins has been doing. So you know, around one of the yeah, I, I was going to tell you, Susie, if you pull up this coin, right, right, uh, KNC, and, and I just wanted to just just talk uh, about it a second. It's a good example. Wow, that right. took a that that is a battle fighter, man. That one, that's a winner, man. During all of that, now that you've seen, you guys have seen like probably fifteen different charts that all were downward spiral in KNC. Man, it took the cake. It yeah. baked well, that cake yeah. during the downfall. You know what I wanted to point out here was the uh, ERI. And this is another one which is good for taking profit. How that coincide with the trend when you see that the, the trend stops showing the green, and how that coincide with the, the TSI. So sometimes, you know, you'll have more than one confirmation with the chart overlay. I, I, like we're showing examples of when to take a profit, and how important it is to take a profit, and and how like if you don't take a profit, what may happen. And what may happen is, is that the market price may move too far too fast and you may get all your profits back. So, you know, utilize the chart overlays for your entry into your positions and also utilize your chart overlays to take profits. And if you have, once you take a profit, don't try to rush back in the same market because, you know, what you're noticing is, is that when the trend starts to go down, it's more than one day. You know, and, and you don't want to, you know, take all your winnings and then, you know, put it back in the same market because, you know, you weren't able to, to play the game. You know, play the game with the tools. When, when you see the green and you see it's trending with the TSI, get in. When, uh, you know, you see the clues that, that the trend could be changing, like here, for example, which is um, the ERI was perfect on this one. And that's why I wanted to show this because sometimes just ERI 
hits things right, right on the money. And uh, this one here was one where is that, um, you know, you want to take profits when you are applicable because as soon as everything lined up, this thing gave it all back. And, um, and you know, and who knows if it'll recover because you don't want to try to pick the bottom, you know, um, go to another market. But that, that thing came back uh, like almost 100%, Susie, or 200% from where it went. Let's see, from here to there. Oh, wait. Seventy five percent in twenty three days. Um, if we go from like down here to like the top point, that's eighty four percent in twenty days. That's during the time when everything else was falling. That's a fighter. So KS had a question. He said, "So is the trend that some of Bitcoin is fleeing into Ethereum?" He was commenting on the, the Ethereum being purchased with Bitcoins. You there, Joe? Yes. And and, and what, what we're actually saying with that is so is that we're we're seeing it within the spread. So meaning is that we may start to see uh maybe possibly uh the Ethereum gain more than the Bitcoin. But it hasn't actually broken out yet. You can see it consolidating, but if this thing takes a shift, then you know you'll see that you'll see the movement reflective on it um, on the other pair because that's what this coin is. It's a pair. It's part uh, Ethereum and part Bitcoin. That's a very good perspective of what you said, KS. So it didn't go up a traumatic amount only when it. Like a, meaning a massive amount, 16% in 32 days, but looks like it was a way more than that for some reason. <clears throat> Any other questions? Ooh, here we go. Um, Terry said, does it mean that, what does it mean when the candle bodies in the top chart change black? Ah, okay. Well, okay, Susie, what she's referring to, if you um, hide, let, let's hide a few things on here, right? Like the ERI chart, um, you know, the radar. Because uh, we only want to show the volatility index. I'm and sorry. I think what she's, yeah, I think what she's referring to is the paint bar or the color of the bar Beast. on Here. yeah on the chart so yeah and minimize the trend or hide the trend okay okay and uh, if you can make that a little bit more tighter okay right there stop and then slide it to the right so the uh, volatility index right is reflective on the the bars the price bars so when you see in the price bars go red that means that the market price or the oscillator the volatility index on the bottom is in the red so you see susie in there when the price bars turn red and if you look below that at the volatility index you'll see in there that the volatility index is below the 20. See you guys right there. And here's yeah. the 20 mark, and there's the zero. And uh, you'll see in there that when the uh, price bars turn black, it means that the volatility index is moving. It's it's in transition, okay. moving from the 20 on its way to the 80. Oh, so it's basically telling you you're in the red zone but not always because here's red wait so it only goes red when it's in the red zone right and because black is the transitional color so so when you see the color, the price bar is black it's in transition and once it reaches the 80 right then that's when the price bars turn green 
So the price bars are reflective of what the oscillator is doing. Well, the volatility index is what we call it. Right, right the volatility index. Meaning like if it's in the overbar or oversold. So when you see this, it means it's in the oversold zone. So to me, that means, Susie, you better buy now, buy now, buy now, or forever hold your piece. You're not going to get a discount. So that means it's an ultimate discount zone. Same thing here. Yeah, that's correct. When you get it, so, you know, when the time is when it's there, because it's not there like a lot. Usually when it goes there, it's as soon as it turns around and it, and you see the price bars turn black, that means it's you know it doesn't it doesn't usually go back down there again. It's in transition. Transition meaning is that it's on its way to the eighty. Right. That's exciting. So if you just look at the red zone, you know that it's down and that's amazing. You know, I didn't ever know that that's how you created this. Good question. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just never, well, I love that question. That's great. So I'm just focusing right now on the red zone so you can see, guys, where it's red. It's in the oversold. So that's like, that says to me, bye, 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 bye. Bye bye bye. And when I see the green now, which is like right here, means take profit, take profit. Now here's the another question she's probably gonna ask is like, all right, so here you have green, but you have it wrapped in red versus green wrapped in green. Well, is, that might just that? Be the, that might be the color coming from the, the price bars behind it. It, it's 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 it should just be one solid color. That I think that's the candlestick on the chart behind it. But the colors oh. are are solid. It, you know, it, either we're green, that means that we're in the eighty part of the oscillator. If we're black, that means we're in the transitional part of the oscillator or volatility, volatility. index. Yeah, and, and it's the same. When we say volatility index, uh, oscillator, chart overlay, indicator, all four of those words have the same meaning. Sometimes, you know, uh, you know, may say one more than the other, but they're all the same. Perfect. Great answer. All right. So next question. Thanks, Terry, for asking that great question. Gilio says, there is a coin called Dreams in Qcoin. Can we check that out? Sure. You know, I, I've been clicking on here trying to find something, and it's just, uh, if there's nothing there, I, I can't afford something to show you guys. A lot of these markets, they're just pulling back. So, Gilio, did I get the right one? This one was actually plural. So, um, it's with dreams with an S. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay. So, trying to shrink it so I can see. Wow, what happened to this thing? <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to get to that entry to see it, but it looks like it's. Um, what do you think, Joe? It just had a bounce. That's why Gilly is looking at it. Oh, the week up for the day. I mean, I'm yeah. telling you. I mean, this look. I, I think oh, he's getting really try. good. Let's pull on. If this is what you're in, Gilly, put it on our little our little radar. Okay, so it's there. Yeah, I mean, look, Susie. I, you know, that's perfect. I mean, look, there's always going to be that one percent where the trade can be wrong. Nothing's 100%, but this right here is the perfect entry into this into this market, and everything there is showing you that this is maybe a duck. So the thing is, is that uh, great um, positioning on this and finding this. Like I, I've been over here looking for coins, and actually you, you found the best coin uh, of the day right now. Whereas is that uh, you know you have the uh, volatility index down at the 20. Uh, that's great. You have the signal line which crossed. That's great. 
You have the TSI giving the first green dot today. That's great. All right. It looks like the um, that's the ERI print up there. So we got the ERI print. The only last thing that you get is the trend. And uh, that trend may populate tomorrow. And, and look, this, Susie, this, this market here, this has been going down like everybody else since the seventh. So I would say in there that um, this is a great find, you know, and um, I really love it, like, you know, when you guys participate like this, because um, you also show me new opportunities so I can trade and I can position myself to make money too. So this is a, a great find and thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, thanks, Galea. So the next one is, Terry said, that was supposed to say, oh, she's, um, KS says, Ethereum seems to have been falling slower, more resistant to the drop, possibly that's why. KS said, so a red candle means volatility index is below 20. To find out how much below 20, we would look at the actual volatility index to confirm. Correct. That's it. And that was a great ending, guys. It's, it's 102, so I want to respect your time. And um, we did add Dreams Quests to our, our watch list. So that'll be down here, and we'll add that one, and I'll uh, go ahead and mark it green. So anything you want to say before we leave, Joe? Um, uh, you know, good luck trading this week. Let the market come to you. And right here is a good example. If you're patient enough, all the rules will align and you'll have yourself um, a trade that, that would match your expectation. And right now the expectation is that we should see follow through from this um, particular market up. So, um, you know, great work and uh, have a great week trading. Thanks, guys. I also want to see if you'll stop by the Facebook page. It's under the name of Crypto Mastery, and you all should be members. And the slides from today are in the Crypto Mastery Facebook group. And we also do have a YouTube channel now, too. So we'll get those links for you next week. You guys have a good week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.